I would recommend if, when there's a legitimate inquiry, he should be transparent and cooperate with Congress. Where there's illegitimate inquiries and abusive inquiries, he should stand fast and either say no uh, as, or protect himself by going to court. Uh, but uh, he shouldn't roll over, that's for sure. And I've been thinking through this a little bit. You know, Congress has the ability to provide oversight uh, through because of its legislative function. They, they create legislation and they need information, right? And that's kind of the reasoning behind Congress asking executive branch agencies for testimony and third parties, uh, private individuals for testimony. But, you know, the president has abilities under the Constitution to provide recommendations to Congress. Well, does that provide him with the ability to conduct oversight? Maybe. And so if I were him, I would think about pushing back on Congress and saying, I want some documents about how you're operating <laughs> because I want to figure out what reforms I need to undertake as president or recommend to you to undertake. So what's good for the goose ought to be good for the gander. And many people don't understand this, but for instance, the Freedom of Information Act, uh, which Judicial Watch uses, uh, which Judicial Watch is uses uh, to such great effect, only applies to the executive branch. It doesn't apply to Congress. And so one of the reforms I think the president should talk about, and frankly, Democrats and Republicans uh, might agree on this, is why doesn't the Freedom of Information Act apply to Congress? They want to know what the president was up to? Fair, fair game, maybe. I want to know what Congress has been up to.